in an, on a normal day, I'd want to ask you about that story, but I'm going to ask you about something else. You became a newsmaker this weekend, and I have to tell you, the first time I saw this video, I watched it with my 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 stomach in my mouth, my mouth in my stomach, because that's you, like your 89-pound body that you threw between Senator Kamala Harris and a protester. I was scared for you. I'm guessing in the moment that was like the woman that lifts a car off a child. What was happening? Um, first, this is the first time I'm talking about this publicly. So I've spent the last 24, 36 hours processing this because um, it was a scary moment. You know, and at the time, I wasn't thinking that. At the time, I was thinking, gosh, the Virginia Beach massacre just happened the day before where we lost 12 souls. I was thinking, you know, uh, white, white supremacy, you know, hate crimes have increased in the last couple of years. And I was thinking, what is going on? And I just acted. And I also want to thank everybody who has sent me so much love and support. It's been amazing. People I don't know have done this. And so, you know, I processed this. I was thinking about this. And I thought, you know, just listening to people reacting to this, it was a trigger for many, many, many women. Uh, when you see three women standing on stage and women of color, including a, a woman who is running for president, the only woman of color in this race, and we're talking about gender, we're talking about the gender gap, right? Race and the gender gap. That was her big idea. And a white man with all of his privilege comes on stage and steps into our personal space, in particular. Senator Harris and it was scary and the only thing that I can think of was to act and this was not going to happen today um, and uh, it is something that women in general have to deal with every day and it's a conversation that we need to be having how you doing you know yesterday I spent the day with my kid and I took her to a birthday party I flew back from San Francisco and got got in a little late and uh, it's been it, I've been shaken it's definitely definitely have shaken I think there was a joke that I was making that I was like oh I'm from New York and I'm not gonna let this happen on my watch but there's a real kind of a fear and scare that I've had I've had friends say to me you put your body in between this person and Kamala Harris and then when I thought about it that way it was scary because I have a kid and I have a family to think about but I would do it again because it's not okay and we have to stand up for each other. And sometimes it's women that do it, you know, and no one else will do it. So we have to stand up for each other. So I know I met your daughter, and so it wasn't lost on me that there was a mama who, yeah. I don't think you weigh more than about 95 pounds, <laughs> throwing her body in front of a scary guy. Yeah. Um, politics aren't, like, you, you know that's not the way it's supposed to be, right? Yeah, I, I know it's not the way that it's supposed to be. Um, I know that I, I got a lot of that reaction, like why, you know, uh, Kamala Harris is being protected by Corrine, who's protecting Corrine. I got a lot of that. And um, it is the time that we live in, Nicole. This is the time that we live in. I want to be clear, you know, um, racism, sexism, misogyny, all of that, homophobia, xenophobia, we, we connected to Donald Trump, but it existed before Donald Trump. And what he has done, he has, you know, exasperated it and used it for his own self-interest and to have that, to, to move his political, whatever he, he wants out of it, including the presidency, clearly. And, uh, and it, is, it is something that we have lived with for so long. And you think about the fight with abortion rights that's happening, how women could potentially be losing their rights to what they want to do with their body, right? You think about, you know, Charlottesville, what happened, what this president said. You think about all of this stuff that's happening with the LGBTQ community, the Muslim community, the immigrant community. It is a scary time. You know, you have folks on the front lines, marginalized communities, who are really, really scared. And I feel like for people, this embodied all of that. I think that's why it's getting the reaction that it's getting, because it touched so many of those feelings for people. And it was, it was a profile in courage. It was grace under pressure, as, as Hemingway said. But it's also symbolic for people who think, like, we have to do something. You stood up and did something, and it, it should be a model for everybody else. Yeah, I mean, your, your, your display of physical courage there was, you know, against a guy who was, you know, a good foot taller than you, and, and again, you probably weigh less than 100 pounds. He was absolutely, you know, a foot taller than you, plus that man bun, another six inches, <laughs> you know, but it was admirable that you did that, and I think that it's an example, though, that, you know, our politics left and right, I don't know what this guy's ideological basis was, but 
in politics, we have we have you know normalized now this you know the throwing the milkshakes, which I don't agree with all the the physical confrontation stuff, and those things. It's not just Donald Trump's fault, but those things have got to be. We've got to look at this as a, as a society and say, whoa, back, because that escalates. And the thing that gets attention now will not get attention soon. They'll want to do something bigger and more, more egregious, and that risks a lot of things. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.